good morning guys we are back over here on our uh damn pond project so uh get some fuel in the skis uh excavator um we had three days of rain so finally back here doing some work uh gonna fix up this tooth real quick get this put back on just got some fuel in the excavator throw some grease on it we're gonna get to work a little breezy this morning it's all right it helps dry everything out feels good is not the correct tool for the job i have a uh <laughs> i have a, a thing back in the shop but i just completely forgot to get it so uh this kind of slides over the end the end of the pin like that so it doesn't uh you get a lot more striking force on it so all right i'm gonna go ahead and replace one more All right, guys, got everything greased, fueled, ready to go. So um, what I need to do is this is where the outlet structure is gonna go, somewhere right in this area. So I need to get all that trash, that pipe uh, getting got out of the way. And then I need to excavate this out right here to be able to put good dirt back in. And then a lot of that right there, all that needs to come up over this way. I need to transfer some of this material farther back so I have room to work. And then there is still one more pipe in the pond. You guys can see down there, there's uh, uh, that's the creek channel. And there's a shutoff with a six inch pipe still underneath here. So we thought about leaving it um, to be able to drain the pond down. But to be able to do this right, like along through here, it's gonna be really hard to leave that valve down there. And uh, basically we don't want anything through the pond that we don't have to and the customer is fine if he ever wants to bring the pond down to get a siphon in here and drop it down so um the only reason why he wouldn't need to do it is to get a siphon in here to work on it or uh, clean up the banks or something like that and it's really not that hard 
to get a siphon and this is just one more thing that could cause problems down the road so i'm gonna get in here start excavating this out get a nice bench whoo, and uh basically pull all that material back get it back up out of the way i brought the little 450 over here yesterday in the rain and uh so that's the plan let's get to it Uh, I just made an executive decision and we got rid of the old pipe. Uh, there's one last one where we're trying to decide whether or not the, what to do with it and uh, it needed to go. So I had all this dug up right here, got the pipe out, put it back in. So it was kind of, I thought it was actually over here. It ended up being over this way a little bit, but that's all right. We got it out of there. So that works so now I am uh, digging out for the box we're gonna set the box hopefully soon get some dirt around it would be the ideal plan
been kind of tearing up the edge and get this edge all that cleaned up. I'm gonna dredge out a little bit right there. Uh, so we'll throw that on the back side of the pond, but uh, we'll do some dredging there. And then I wanna get that a nice smooth transition down into the water. Within, uh, I'm actually pretty stinking close. But I want to, I want to put some good red mud, or I, I say red uh, mud. I want to put some good red dirt around this thing. Oh, more pipes. So much, so much trash in this thing. It's ridiculous. And uh, I'll pack it in there with the. roller get it nice and tight you can see that dirt change I don't know if you can or not that dirt change color right there are starting to that's the uh, that's the core the center of the dam uh, going this way so the center of the dam got my trim falling off here Hold on a second. There we go. We're good. <laughs> uh, so the center of the dam, they call the core of the dam, uh, that's running, I'm sitting in it right now, which is right up through here, this way. So the water comes in this way and the core stops it. Doesn't allow it to seep through. You can kind of have, it's not a good packed, not as good packed, that's not very good English, Sean. Uh, you don't have to have as good co compaction on your um, around your, your your front side and your back side. It's the core that's the most important. Important. Ugh, cannot talk today. What's up guys back over here this morning and uh didn't do a lot of video yesterday i was really just trying to get this pipe laid in and stuff like that but i'll show you real quick uh got my son levi with me say hey levi he's doing some fishing it's saturday morning so uh got my box set oh we got him What's that? I can't get it on hooks. Why not? How are you going to get a fish off there if you can't get that? You know, just... Hit, hit your button. Oh, yeah. All right, so uh, got my box in. It is set. Got dug out for the anti-seep collar. Concrete's going to go there. And then I'm going to uh, put some concrete around the bike 
the box right there on that side <clears throat> i do have an extension got to put on it still but i got all this in got it laid down to there so i need to push some dirt down this way so we can start covering that and then really i can start filling all this in so i'm just gonna set you guys up on some time lapse this is my good dirt here uh <clears throat> for kind of filling in back the core through this area that's good dirt there that's some topsoil i'm hopefully gonna spread out over everything so let's uh see what we can get done all right so i ended up packing this in here um that pile of dirt that was kind of right here end up starting to bring this down and um because i was thinking about it i need to be able to get this to where a uh, concrete truck can come in here monday they're supposed to be here at noon so they could probably i want to get it built up so they can sit right there and shoot some in shoot some in right there so i want to get this uh kind of built up this kind of cleaned off over here on this side before I get too crazy over here. So I'm gonna focus on that real quick. I've been packing it in in lifts. So hopefully, and then I'll probably actually knock some of that down where I can sit up there because uh, when I set the, um, the second piece to the box. So let's get this cleaned up right here. Shouldn't take too long.
compared to the each side. This side's good. It's good, so we gotta go that way just a hair. Okay. Un just unwhip the chain off of them. Okay. Tiny bit more. I mean, I don't know how close you want it. It's like like a half a finger. Got a little alligator snapping turtle here. About to get Wyatt. <laughs> Did he get you? He goes back. Clawed me. Yeah, his claws are super sharp, but he's got a bunch of moss on him. Oh. All right, I'll hold him. He's got like spines. Yeah, on his look at tail. his tail. Oh wow. Oh my. So there's his mouth open. Don't do that. Maybe. Poked it right in his eyeball. All right, here. All right. You He's hold him, you hold him, and then you put him in the water, okay? Hey. Whoa! Oh. That's what I'm afraid of. All right, grab him. Grab him. He's gonna go for the water. Grab him, Wyatt. <laughs> All right, let's see him go.
Dankeschön. All right, guys, that is it for me today. I actually got to run home and do some family stuff. Sorry, just kind of ended there, but I ended up uh, smoothing out real quick with 450. Actually, didn't take me that long. That 850, get it rough, and then uh, it only took me about 15 minutes to smooth all that out. But it still needs to be go gone over once more. There was actually, I was really hoping there was a little bit more dirt in there. If I have to, I can take some off that hill uh, but I, I kind of like that. I like it. It's it's a good good flow, you know, comes down to the creek, goes back up. And, um, you know, you could, you could go down that on a mower to a point down there and, you know, come back up and stuff like that. You wouldn't, it would be hard to go up and mow that. Kind of the point is this, to get it to where they can maintain it. You could back a tractor down or, you know, down those spots or something. But uh, Jody helped, get, helped me get the box set. Um... <laughs> one of my kids socks oh i don't know if you can see but there's all little feet prints out there in the mud they were they were having a blast they were a disaster but uh we got the box set or the second attachment i ended up putting some uh like adhesive caulk around there um some kind of concrete sealant stuff everyone that i've put in where i had to put extensions in these um you know they make like a rubber gasket and stuff like that um still have had leaks so i wanted to try this caulking and i still seal it on the inside i've i've fixed them but just have to go back with uh concrete patch and stuff you know but so this is ready to go we'll put some concrete around there so it doesn't seep inside 
and then we'll put some here for the anti-seep collar and then continue the uh, core right through there all that will end up down through here and make a nice smooth transition so that's kind of where we're at with everything and it's it's start starting to take shape once i get that done it's we'll be rolling light right along with it but um i shot it with the uh laser and my dam the height of the dam right here is this is good and this spot so i'll just have to keep that maintaining it's obviously falling off right there but uh we're just shooting for about 36 inches uh to two foot higher something like that two to three feet higher and this was about 30 inches so i was pretty close that's what we're going for and like i said the customer is going to have us clean all this up around here my kids uh i took the x-fair and was raking out right there for them and i told them uh just give them something to do and keep them from killing each other and everything but they're they're having a good old time but i told them i'd give them five cents for every uh golf ball that they found and uh we got a couple hundred golf balls just in that little area so that was pretty neat gave them something to do and uh they'll they were arguing whose golf ball is whose and all that kind of stuff but anyways so hope you guys enjoyed uh this video continuing with this project here and uh hopefully we'll get back over here first next week get this thing wrapped up so Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some more videos and uh, have a good one, y'all.